The pineapple bun, known as bolo bao in Cantonese, is a popular pastry that originated in Hong Kong. Despite its name, the pineapple bun does not contain pineapple. The name actually refers to the unique crisscross pattern on the bun's crispy, sweet topping, which resembles the texture of a pineapple skin. It is often enjoyed as a breakfast item or snack and is commonly paired with a slice of butter, creating a delightful contrast between the sweet, crumbly topping and the rich, creamy butter. Today, we are going to attempt to replicate the pineapple bun with the assistance of our professional baker to see just how hard it is to make this Asian delicacy. First, we'll make our dough from scratch. Here are our main ingredients. All-purpose flour, milk powder, sugar, sea salt, whole eggs, yeast, lard, butter, milk, mixture of uncooked flour and water. Okay, all right, so what's our first step? So first, to mix the dough, we throw the uh, liquid ingredient first. Okay. So Let's pour our milk first, then followed by our three eggs. Now we'll get all the other ingredients, except for the lard and butter. These ones will be added after the mixture of the dough. Flour. Liquid go in first. Oh, liquids so have to go in first. Go in first so that it doesn't mix it doesn't early. Stick. stick. So we don't have like just flour at the bottom. Right, right. right. So it helps mix it better. Right. Next, we'll leave everything to the mixer for 10 minutes. Then we'll add some more key ingredients. First, I'm going to mix all the ingredients for like two, three minutes. Now, after 10 minutes, we're gonna add the butter and the lard. The dough is not quite ready. As you can tell, the dough is sticking to, this, to the edge, to the side of the bowl. So once it's ready, you will see the dough, it comes together into one ball in the center and the sides are clean. After 30 minutes of mixing the dough, we'll start the process called poofing. In baking, poofing means letting the shaped bread dough rise one last time before baking. The practice of bread poofing can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as Egypt and Mesopotamia, where bread was a staple food. Early bread makers discovered that allowing the dough to undergo a final rise before baking resulted in lighter, more flavorful loaves. So right now I'm going to ball it up and we're going to also help the protein just to shape it into, and now it goes into our bowl. Next, we'll leave the bowl at room temperature, about 22 degrees Celsius, after two hours of poofing the dough. Let's move on to portioning them into smaller pieces. So what we do, we cut a strip and we elongate to make it a uh, same thickness. 35, 83, okay. 83, sure, pass. Next, we'll start to shape our dough. There's two processes to shape okay. it in the dough. There's a pre-shape and a final shape. Okay. okay. After proofing, there's a lot of air. So yeah. we're gonna slap it a little bit. Yeah, just to release, really slap it more. Yeah, slap it like we need it. There we go. Okay. Okay, and then we're gonna take it and then Fold it, keep rotating like this. Next, we're gonna stuff the dough with cheese curds. So, so these are curd, most cheese curds. So they, this is just normal make, mozzarella. That's how they make mozzarella with the cheese curds. Okay. okay. And this is the mochi that I have uh, steamed this morning. Very easy, just mix flour, water, and steam it. What makes mochi mochi? Just the The mochi texture? flour. The flour. Oh, mochi the rice, flour. The, oh. rice, the rice flour is made of glutinous rice flour. So you just take uh, let's take a ball. Okay. And flip. So this is the top. Yep. We don't want to ruin the top. Okay. So the bottom. The bottom. Okay. So we're gonna take this. Yep. And you're gonna put it in the middle, mm -hmm. just like nigiri. And then we're gonna push the dough up, and then actually just like uh, shalong bao. Shalong bao. Okay. okay. Or dumpling. And then you're going to pinch a little bit around, pinch the dough, and then turn and close. Next, we're gonna stretch the dough so it's more rounded. So how do we do that? We use, we make a shape, a triangle shape like this. Okay. And we pull it toward us. As, yeah. And you see, it will st it'll stick to the table a little bit. Yeah. And then, then we'll we stop. Turn. And then we turn the dough and we keep going like this. Now we're going to put it on a tray with parchment paper and then we're gonna put it in the proofer uh -huh. and let it rise. Okay, wait, a proofer is like a special thing? It's not just... The proofer is just a, a cabinet that's essentially just... A temperature hot, adjusted? Hot, temperature adjusted uh -huh. with waters, right. there's a pan and then... But if people don't have a proofer... 
You can use your oven. All right. Set it at the lowest, lowest, lowest setting, uh -huh. and then uh, make sure there's water in it so that it's it's not it's not drying out the the dough. Right. And then you can also put a a towel, mm -hmm. a, a, a damp towel, towel yeah. on top of it so that it doesn't dry out the skin. Right. After poofing the dough that we just shaped, now we're ready for the cookie. This is what makes the pineapple bun so special. This is the cookie that crumbles like sand. Right now, it's already prepared. So the dough okay. that I've just, I, I mix all to butter, there's lard, uh -huh. there is uh, icing sugar, there is the chow fun that I call it, right. and then flour. Now let's cut them to smaller pieces with 25 grams each. I would cut them all because I kind of know how it's, it weighs. Uh -huh. 25, okay, okay, next one. Quite fast. 23, done. Next, we'll flatten it, place it on top of our dough, and coat it with our special ingredients. Okay, this is egg wash. Uh -huh. It's, um, right? How I like my egg wash is just yolk, sugar, and a little bit of water. Okay. So it's pretty thick. It's not gonna be too runny. Next, we'll add some cookies on top to tell which one is the mochi from mozzarella. And then we place it to the oven for 375 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And my oven doesn't steam, so I'm going to throw a little bit of water on the floor of the oven just to create some steam. And finally, here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. This combination of crispy crust and soft from the inside makes the bread visually appealing and enjoyable to eat. All right, so this is the completed product. This is done. It looks different. It. it looks a little bit different from pineapple buns. Is it just because it's so fresh? Like it's so big. So right now it's it's like the the highest it will be. So later it will fall down. It will collapse a tiny little bit. You can see some has already started to collapse compared right. to this one. Yeah. Uh, but it's not going to collapse weight uh, too much. This is uh, this is also it's because it's filled. This is filled too. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So All right, cool. We've got two, two kinds. Well, let's see what the... This one's mozzarella. Yeah. Let's do a little cheese pull. Sure. Okay, all right. Sure. Oh, it's really soft and warm. Oh, that's a good cheese pull. Oh, yeah. Right. That looks so good. All right, shall we try it? Sure. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is so good. I've never had it this fresh. It makes such a big difference. And the saltiness from the mozzarella yeah. and the sweet crust, I think it's pretty interesting. So I Wait, like this one. I'll like never get a chance to eat it this fresh. Yeah. Right? Because no, usually when I buy it on the like, if it's like, especially in Asia, when you buy it on the street, it's already so flat and cold. Exactly. So this, the, the magic, it's only in the first like 30 minutes out of the oven. This is, um, it's just reality. So like, but so the best time to go to like bakeries is like in the morning. In the morning when I open. Yeah. 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 When I open for the first like 30 minutes, you have the best pineapple bun. Yeah. In life. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Now that you guys know how to make a pineapple bun, you're ready to be the most attractive person in the world. <laughs>